Hi, I welcome you all to this session on understanding time evolutions. So in this session, we are going to create afternoon sleep. In the previous sessions, we have created special leaf, a light maternity leaf, and in this session, we are going to create this, and we are going to configure for afternoon sleep. Maybe that uh, the companies have certain kind of provisions that when the employees are on a uh, tour or client meeting, they are treated as afternoon sleep. Such kind of afternoon sleep we are going to configure in these sessions. So we are going to use two tables. Uh, we have also that uh, seen this uh, tables B underscore T five five four S underscore B for absence input checks and B underscore five five four uh, S underscore N for utterance general setting. We are going to see. So we'll see this. So this is the that SM thirty screens actually. So we have uh, put it. So we'll configure for this. So we'll go for maintaining maintain. Then we can. Uh, copy the first line. Okay. We can copy the first line. Okay. Then uh, here we can because we are configuring for PS group two, seventy. Okay. Then we can go for this is three hundred. We have we will create it for three hundred. Okay, three hundred. We have created one hundred, two hundred. Okay. We have created casually for one hundred, two hundred for specially. Now we will create. This has to be a unique number. That uh, has to exist under this PS grouping. There, for 300, we will put it. So it is business trip. So since I am that creating this, let me write it as like. So it will be easy to identify. So it, let us say, see this. It is say, what is this? This is for see warning. So you can see that um, this if you are writing it here as a error. That means the leave applications for that uh, uh, it will not process. It will not process. However, when we are writing it as warning, it will allow you. It is, will just give you one warning, but it will allow you. So we can write it like W W W. Okay, means W stands for warning. That second date is the last date. Okay, so we have to put. So minimum duration duration it is one second subject to let the, the company policy and process. We can write. Maybe minimum duration can be one or maximum duration. Maybe it, it depends on the policy. If the company has the provision that somebody can go, some somebody can uh, go on a trip for 90 days, we can also write it as 90 days. Okay. So this calendar unity has to be always like as per the calendar year. Okay, that is called K. Okay. So then we can enter. An entry already exists to the same key. Okay. Uh, maybe this is the entry exist. I think it is. So we will make it for uh, 400. Let us see. Yes, 400 is it to 400. Okay. So we will allow this. So, so this is 400. So we have now. Uh, created for 400 business trip. Okay. So then we will go back. Okay. Then uh, we can go to another table for afternoon setting that is V underscore 554S underscore B underscore N. Okay. So this is uh, the so afternoon general settings. We can go for this. Then we can search our PSG that is called 70. Okay. 70 it is there, 400 it is there. Yeah. So we have created now this. So what we will do, we will click on business trip. Okay. So this is uh, here we have to see what is this. Let us see the drop down so this is we are let us say we must understand what is this utterance general setting we are not configuring this for absences we are configuring this for utterance therefore we have to write it as b okay so if we are putting it as a for utterance that means 
the business trip will be considered as absences. Therefore, we must careful do it. Okay. Then this screen number is also important. This screen number actually, this has to be stored in info type number 2002. This is for attendance. Uh, attendance purpose. So, if there is another uh, info type that is called 2001 for absence purpose. But this is for uh, the attendance purpose. Okay. Therefore, we should careful do it. Okay. Then time has to be 1. That's why this is also 4. That is fine. Okay. We have to tick mark on it. Check end date. This is important. Then we can go for this. Okay. We can click on it. Okay, so now we have done uh, for uh, that uh, absences. We have configured for absences. We have also configured for a translate. Okay, let us make a review of the following things. Okay, what we have discussed as part of time management. We have discussed about we have configured for a holiday calendar. We have created one holiday calendar. So like uh, two holidays, we have created one for the Sahara, another for. Uh, like um, Republic Day, then we have uh, created one holiday calendar ID, then we assign this calendar ID to PA and PSA, then we have also created assignment of uh, uh, PS grouping for work schedule, assignment of PS grouping with P and PSA, we have also that configured for break schedule, there are different kinds of breaks, maybe that uh, launch break kinds of, we have configured this. Then daily work schedule also we created, then period work schedule we created, then period work schedule valuations we did. Then we also created um, that uh, work schedule rule, we also create um, that work schedule and uh, we also create, we have also created roster, absences and attendance leave we have. So these are all required for payroll processing. Okay. So when we move on. Uh, before before moving on to uh, on the payroll, basically we must check on all these things. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.